Hey soul fam, I hope you're having a freaking fantastic day. I've got my hug and a mug here with me today. So my day is going pretty freaking good. How's yours going? Please let me know in the comments below. I've got tons of fall goodness to share with you today. Fall magic, madness, vibes. And you guys know my love for the fall season is very real. The vibrant colors, the crunchy leaves. I picture the fall season being that gorgeous, effortlessly beautiful girl who even when falling does it gracefully. Freaking magical. So naturally I gathered all of my fall favorites to share with you because tis the season. I'm genuinely so excited for the fall season. This summer, it was a bummer. Not very eventful and a lot of like things happened, so hoping for a good fall season. Now, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing all of my fall must-haves, my fall favorites, basically all of my fall staples. I always like to start off with beauty and fashion. So naturally, when I think of the fall season, I think of rich, bold, yet neutral colors, such as oranges, reds, plums, and I like incorporating these colors into my makeup and my fashion, and the easiest way and my favorite way to incorporate these bold colors is with a bold lip. I'm using this 100% pure lipstick in the shade Savannah. It is a part of their new lipstick collection for the fall season. Now I've been using 100% pure for a few years now, and when they reached out wanting me to share their lipstick line, their new fall lipstick line, I couldn't pass it up. Not only are the shades freaking fantastic, but they're also moisturizing and matte. So goodbye, crusty lips, and hello, bold beauty. All jokes aside though, 100% Pure has been my go-to, my holy grail for natural beauty products over the past few years. They have my favorite brow gel, face mask, and now they have my go-to lip shade for the fall time. If you guys are interested in checking out 100% Pure's fruit dyed fall lipstick, click my link down below. You definitely won't regret it. Now into more fall magic. Hello again, my love. Sticking to fall beauty, extra blush cheeks are definitely a must in the fall time. I'm using my Better Naked Palette blush in my Moonlight highlighter, not only to complement the season, but to shine as bright as the sun on those gloomy autumn days. I am the light. And again, a bold lip is always welcomed in the fall season. I've been reaching for this bad boy as of late. As for hairstyles, one word, hats. I love, love, love experimenting with hats, especially when it starts to get cooler out and whatnot. Experimenting as in trying new ones on, and, uh, not doing experiments on the hats. Although I guess measuring the circumference of my large noggin could classify as a science experiment, but these are my go-to hats in the fall season. Oh, and messy buns, messy hairdos are always welcomed in the autumn season as well, which is fantastic. It's all about those effortless, cozy vibes, which obviously leads me to my comfy socks, an absolute must, alongside some boots. I love these bad boys from Koi Footwear. And since fall is all about those layers, here are a few of my favorites. Oversized button-ups to channel those cozy, cool granny vibes. Oversized flannel. I mean, nothing could be more comfy. I've literally had this specific flannel since I was freaking 16. Crazy. And I'm always living in oversized denim in the fall season. I love this chunky denim jacket because it gives me enough room to layer up and also gives off those 90s vibes. I don't know about you guys, but I consider belts a layering accessory. I'm always whipping out my nifty belts during this time of year. And of course, what is fall time without an abundance of chunky monkey sweaters? It's all about the layers. Layering up some necklaces and jewelry is always a nice touch as well, especially when it makes a spooky statement. Ashen gifted me this moon and mountain necklace and the star choker is from Dixie. As for more spooky statements, check out these evil eye earrings. They're literal magic. And for a quirky statement, I have my dead dudes to hang with. Moving on to some fun fall festivities. It's that time of year where you start finding fun indoors, such as concerts. Baby, 
museums, thrifting adventures, and it's also a great time to visit family, especially if they live in the warm states. You've got to take that up. And of course, you know, the classic festivities are always fun as well, like pumpkin patches and campfires. And if you think baths aren't a fall festivity, you are wrong, my friend. They most definitely are as well as an abundance of book reading, blanket bundled, tea sipping days. They're the best. You guys know I've been loving this hug in a mug lately. It's delicious and nutritious, so it's a win-win. As for self-care for fall, I always find myself gravitating towards my grounding stones. I kind of think of myself as being in the same transition as the trees. Although their leaves are falling, their roots are stable and secure because they're grounded. So I try to have grounding energy around me. I'm lame, I know, but <laughs> if you guys would like to see a crystal video soon, let me know. So, as for fall movies, there are so many magical, wonderful movies for the fall time. I honestly think it's the best time for TV shows and movies. I don't know, just saying. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like you guys would never guess my top favorite fall movie because I don't think I've ever expressed my dying love for Coraline. If you guys haven't seen Coraline, it is a magical, mystical movie about a young girl who moves to a new home a new town. She finds herself in a home that has lots of hidden treasures and secrets and magic. It's definitely a children's film, but there's something about it that intrigues my spirit, my childlike spirit, forever. Another one of my favorites is Beetlejuice. Now I feel like everyone has seen this wonderful film. It is indeed a classic. I've watched it since I was a wee little one. It is a very unique an intriguing film that just gets all of those vibes going. Those spooky, mysterious, fun vibes. I don't know, I sound really creepy when I talk like that. Another movie with all the vibes is Edward Scissorhands. Now, I must admit something crippling and embarrassing, but I had a crush on both Edward Scissorhands and Beetlejuice as a child. Now, I was going to, like, insert some fall music, my fall playlist here, but I, I thought that might be a whole video of itself. So let me know if you guys want to see that in the comments below. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a big ol' thumbs up. It means a lot to me, makes me feel loved, and also lets me know what you guys like to see. Thank you again to 100% Pure for making this video possible. And until next time, you guys, I love ya. I hope you have a fantastic day.